Hi guys, here Romy from Musa, Musa XO. This channel, I used to not say that, but now I need to say it because I realized that sometimes you're on YouTube and somebody pops up on a video and they start talking brrr, and you don't even know where the person came from or if the person just posted a craft or a recipe because they were inspired that day or if they legitimately produce content on that. So this channel, which is about practical spirituality, practical philosophy, meaning applied human wisdom to today not something ancient not something that was written in some dogmatic text just integrating all of that wisdom from our race to our daily challenges and so the video today that i wanted to explore was something that i just recorded in spanish and it was really hard to kind of condense and it was just an awareness that i want to bring to people you have this life energy that it's you and i want you to consider how much of that is dedicated to the mental part of you? How much of that is dedicated to the body part of you? And how much of that is ded dedicated to the spirit part of you? As you know, from the beginning of time, we've been talking about a trinity, mind, body, and spirit. I happen to think that spirit is the governing force or it sits at the head of the table of that directive of your life and mind and body are kind of servicing that but really the supremely intelligent force and the non-verbal but eternal and indestructible part of you is the spirit is the wiser self and what's happened in in occidental society and in the last few decades is that we become obsessed with reason we become obsessed with the cult of the mind and finding problems and solving problems with the mind and and cultivating uh, our mind through schooling and through higher education and through um degrees and etc etc and or the body cult the cult of the body obsessing about the body either by health and wellness or through or through medical things or aesthetic things and really almost not fully forgotten but yes a little bit the spirit part which happens to be the most powerful one and so sometimes and you know how you can see that in evidence is that people often have crises of the spirit they have an existential crisis which is a crisis of the spirit is the spirit saying oh my god pay attention to me tapping you here and saying please hear me out you are all in your mental body or all in your physical body but have not listened or cultivated relationship with that part for so long that the spirit throws a tantrum and says you need to hear me out remember why you came remember your value or whatever it is that that you hear through moments like that everybody has to experience that one or twice or three times in their life and the purpose part of the purpose of this this channel is helping you harvest that wisdom and apply it in whatever it's left of your life so that you feel complete integrated satisfied so the invitation here is try to observe how much of your what percentage or how much of your of your life energy is dedicated to the different parts of you and you will probably can think of, of a lot of examples of people who are fully obsessed with developing the mind um, and that's their life and their career and their Id identification and almost forgetting or not taking care of the of their body or fully on their body and obsessed with that and not really developing uh, you know willpower and the cr and critical thinking kind of forgetting that and le letting that stunt and or somebody that's just so much into the spirit world so much cultivating the spirit aspect of your life that they're kind of like a ghost floating and they're just non-practical they don't know how to operate in the material world so the invitation here is do a little bit of an inventory for you and try to balance it and and bring love to all of those parts the mind needs love and comprehension and space and understanding and cooling off the body also needs detoxification and love and relaxation 
or it needs a little bit more activity. Whatever it is that it's telling you, that part of you needs you. And the spirit is so in need of, of, of an invitation to your life. The spirit is, the spirit doesn't need you really. It just needs you to open the faucet. It needs you to, to leave some space for it. It needs you to be willing to communicate with it. Um, and again, it doesn't come through the mind. It comes through an allowing through the body, but it guides you and informs your life. It informs your life in terms of your life mission, the purpose, why are you here? And see where are you allocating most of your life energy. Try to assign it in a more um, balanced way instead of mostly to the mind or mostly to the body and very little to the spirit. And how do you do that? And the jurisdiction here of Musa, the channel, is more helping you develop the relationship with the spirit part because with that, nobody needs to prescribe or solve anything for you because you have access to your wiser self. And that's why I love this work because it's really about empowerment. It's about you opening the faucet of your inner self and of your wisdom so you can get appropriate answers for you and your individual evolution. So how to, um, how to do that? Try to do this initial reflection on where is most of my energy applied? How can I open the faucet again for spirit to come in and really, or the wiser part of me to come in and, and inform more of my life? The point of this video was take that, tri that, that trinity that is you, mind, body, and spirit, Try to see how are you assigning your energy and try to balance it out. Remember, try to make spirit core and boss of that, really. It really is the observant. And it's really not the mind that it's the boss. And sometimes it feels like that and not the body who's, who's calling the shots either. Um, so get in touch with that because that is the boss of you and that is you. And so... Subscribe if you like these kinds of topics. If you don't like them, don't subscribe. There's nothing worse than having somebody giving you opinions when they don't even understand what you're saying. So um, I'll see you online and write us and comment. I love comments that have to do with realizations or angles or points that um, you would like to know more about. Bye.